Yeah, th there's certainly been a lot of discussion within the linguistic community, and you know what um, the language is called has has changed quite a bit over time within the literature, and there's a little bit of a transition, I, I think, now from from AAE African American English to AAL African American language, and um, you know lots of, of of sort of debate around um, you know how those those labels might get used. Um, we, we have not spent a lot of time yet as an advisory board and as a full team talking about what the dictionary itself should be called. Um, I do think it's important that we spend some time um, with that um, discussion, you know, especially given um, the, the history of, of the uh, trajectory of the term within the linguistic community. Um, but I, I think if we're also paying attention to the ways in which the term is being taken up now by the broader community, I have been inspired to see the term African American vernacular English uh, making its way into, you know, Twitter, into, um, you know, just the the, the language of of, um, of everyday people. And so I think we also need to pay attention to how it's being taken up by the community and take some of our cues um, for what to call the, the final product in that regard as well.